Hello friends, today we are going to discuss the concept of centroid. The term centroid sounds similar to another important concept called centroid, but they are way different. Centroid, unlike centroid, it is not a point. It is the locus of points that define the location of the IC, instantaneous center of zero velocity, during motion of a body. So now let's see a couple of illustration. Let's think of a body that under general plane motion, that means rotating and translating simultaneously, These positions are instant scenario of the motion. At any instant, there exists a point about which the entire body is experiencing a pure rotation, no translation. Thus, this point becomes instantaneous axis of rotation with no or zero velocity. Thus, the velocity of any point on the body will be perpendicular to the relative position vector from that point. And this point is called IC. So if we take direction of velocity of each point on the body and if we take relative position of these points from that point they will be perpendicular. Now if we consider such an IC point for each and every instant we can have a locus of IC points. If you see on the image for all four instant, for example, you can have the red dots as the IC points. For all possible instant, you can have continuous position of those IC points that can form a locus and this locus of IC points is called centroid. Another simple example of centroid is that of a bicycle wheel. As the wheel rotates and moves forward, the contact point with ground act as an IC point for the wheel. Thus, the straight line path that means the ground will be the centroid for this bicycle wheel. Finally, let us introduce another term called exode. A X O D E, exode. If you consider the perpendicular rotation axis on each IC point that locus of those axis is called exode. So if you see the image, the side view from the side, the axis is perpendicular to the plane, perpendicular at point, all those red points, that locus of those axis is called exode. Thanks for watching.